So, you look after testing at uh, Dream Orbit? Yes. Okay, great. Um, so, tell me something. Uh, when uh, ISV, independent software vendor, outsources its product development to Dream Orbit, how does your team in testing ensure the customer gets what they want? I, I understand you guys do agile and usually do week sprint kind of stuff. So how do you make sure that the customer gets what they expect? Basically, in Agile, we get requirements in form of user stories. Okay. So, we start analyzing the user stories and we start create creation of test cases in parallel with the development. Uh, so, by the time the development is completed, our test cases are complete. So, by this process, we ensure that the product is delivered on time. Okay. So, so it is, uh, so development is going on and you are working on yeah, creating your test cases create, and then you execute it is done, so it is done. Yeah. What kind of testing do you do? I mean, is like functional testing, regular? You know? Basically, right now we have a two-week uh, sprint. Okay. So, in sprint, we do functional testing. We are testing all the functionalities that are supposed to be delivered in that particular release. Okay. And once the sprint is complete, uh, the we are merging all the iterations to a release branch and okay. we are doing an regression testing on an integration server okay. that covers, uh, typically what we have, we have two weeks iteration okay. and in one release we have two iterations. Okay. So it means in every month we are releasing an uh, update to our customer. Okay. So in the release testing what we do, we cover all the functional tests that we have done in sprint and then we are doing regression testing to ensure that nothing is broken from the previous build okay. to ensure the quality of the build that is supposed to be deployed on the production server. Okay. And once, uh, for some customers, we are basically doing two levels of testing. Okay. So once a build is deployed for a release on an integration server, one round of testing is done there. Okay. Then when we find it stable, the final release that is supposed to be deployed mm -hmm. to production is deployed to an intermediate staging server that's the replica of a environment uh, that's the replica of production server so we just test we do smoke test there to ensure our build is stable and it's ready to be rolled out to the customer okay and uh, how do you track these test test results can the customer see them yeah, basically what we have, we are using Rally Dev. Okay. Rally Dev is a project management tool in Agile methodology. Okay. So, whatever we, whatever task we are doing in Rally, it's visible to the customer. Okay. So, we are ensuring 100% trans, 100% uh, transparency, transparency is there, and visibility is there. Is the there. Yeah. So, everything, every test that you conduct, yeah. Test result, test case, everything is there in yeah, value for the customer to see. Test results are shared with the customer. Okay. So we can just, uh, the customer can just log into Rally and just can have an access to the reports that are created for each iteration okay. to see uh, how we stand for an iteration. Okay. It means how uh, the number of features that are developed to number of defects that were created. Mm -hmm. So that ensures 100% visibility to the customer as well. And in that uh, rally, we usually create test cases against a user story that is a requirement. Okay. So, customer can just have a look and can see that if something has gone wrong. Okay. So, we just communicate on that. Okay. So, customer and customer has access to the tool. So, they yeah. don't need to ask you, hey, give yeah. me this test report, give me that test report. No, we don't. They can just go in the tool and yeah, see they, it themselves. They can just go into the tool and we have the KPI reports there. Okay. So, it's 100% visible to them. Okay, great. Thank you.